You okay? Hell. You, you Hell. sick, partner? Uh, it, it's in Whoa. me. They're in me. You're not well, friend. Uh, Butch's crick. Butch's crick. Uh, Where? Uh, Butch's crick. Is that where you're from? Butch's crick. You want me to take you back, or? They're in uh, me. Uh, come on, let me get you home. Butcher's Crick. some distress. Yeah, he uh, seems calmer now. I found him out in the woods. Oh, Lemuel. Sweet Lemuel. Such a nice man. Such a good man. Come here. Come on. Get up here. Help you. Since the troubles began, he just he's not the same. It's in me. Why is he looking at me funny? Uh, no, he, he's not well. It's, it's, it's the darkness. It, he said it's the darkness. Who says it's the darkness? Well, the village is... Well, thank you, sir. I thank, thank you for lim... Ah, thank me! Ah, 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 please, please, sir. Ah, ah, them you are not well, sir. Ah, you got yeah. anything for me? Oh, yeah. Of course, sir. Love and friendship in the darkness. What else are there? Obadiah Hinton, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> love and friendship. Friendship and love. We're not a rich village, sir. But with love, rich. We thank you. Okay.
Hey, move it! Like me, be a wise man, be a fool for love. Help a blind man. There you go. Be warned, sir. Do not slumber too deeply, for the man with no nose is coming for you. Okay. I ain't too sure what to make of that. To be our little adventure. Uh, you all right there? Who are you? Oh, it's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. 
Well, it makes no difference now. If, if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... We came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something true, something real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm gonna do this for you, Cal. Well, I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We couldn't even catch a darn mouse. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. Well, you ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on, I'll show you. All right. But you better not try any funny business. You know, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. Tell me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're gonna survive out here. Uh, let's try in the trees down there, near the river. Yes, this is a good spot. Well, I think we should start with something small, don't you? I kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? There. Look. Rabbit. Okay, stay quiet. Got it. Okay then, go on. Time to get your hands dirty. How do I... I mean... What do I do? Just hold the legs tight and pull the skin away quickly. Should come right off. To it. You did good. I think I've seen enough blood for one day. <laughs> Do you mind if we head back now? Sure. I'll walk you back. You did good. That should keep you fed for a few days. Oh, yes. At least. Thank you so much. I mean, this really ain't such a bad spot. You got a good water source. It's remote, but you can survive here all right. I have no doubt that one can survive here. Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. You've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors. Oh, a lot of it, that's for sure. I barely left the city before coming here. Cal spent his summers growing up at his grandparents' lodge in Maine, but I get the impression they did more punting than hunting. Right. Oh, Lord. No. We're done for now. Whoa, stay back! Just to smell the dead rabbit. <laughs>
you to work in that mine no more, okay? You all right? That's we quite an argument. Even? Hmm? I'm providing for my family. Well, you can't provide Enough. for... I'm not putting on a show for the whole town. Is there a man in this town who ain't a moron? <laughs> He's just scared. Good job's hard to find. A good job? Caking your lungs for a couple of dollars a week? Scared or not, he's gonna ruin us both. That idiot. I love him and I hate him. Every day, covered in soot, co being half the night. <laughs> With you in just a moment. Getting harder every day. Hmm? Yes? Y'all right there, sir? Yes. Why? Been some grip going around here, and I just thought, uh. Ah, you know what? Never mind. What can I do for you? trip.
wrong with you? In the name of... Yeah. Hey there, friend. Away. How can I help you? Let's go, boy. Need a doctor. What? You got it. Maybe today will be better. Hey, boy. Good morning, Arthur.
morning. Morning. Okay. Morning. Yeah. Morning, Archer. White to D4, black to F. You okay there? Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back, and I'm sitting here, and I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily enactors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well, I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. Oh, but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my... My final move, but guess I'm more interested in surviving than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What's our move here? You sound like Hosea. I miss. Um, I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They. Chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my back? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now. And I seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we just. There is country. In Roanoke Ridge, past Butcher Creek, I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you can take folks up that away. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Charles, be right with me. Always. We're it's my free brew country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. You bearing up okay? I understand. What are we doing there? We're looking for a place to hole up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. 
Yeah. I did some scouting up there while you boys were away. And? Mm. We'll see. <sighs> I know the way. Follow me. We need to get this done fast. The Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah. The sooner we get out of here, the better. It's quite a... Right up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? I say we just ride it. It ain't worth messing around with boats. Okay, sure. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in San Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there. Keeping everyone together? Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition to yours. <laughs> Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, well, not exactly. An island off of there, called Warma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh... I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure our Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Yeah, you're right. Just... It's been... I guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? Of course. not much further now. So, I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into Rainsfall and Eagle Flies, the Indians. And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. Uh, uh, that's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble heading into more. Watch it. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. A place called Beaver Hollow. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Great. <laughs> Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here. It's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near. Even the law. You see that up ahead? Slow down, 
Keep it quiet. It could be some of them. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Follow me and stay quiet. Let's get closer to him. Come on, up this way. Definitely Murphy's. I say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the other. Good job. Uh, we must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. Stagecoach went missing. Jesus. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What you think? We can head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Let's surprise them in there. Okay. Let's get a little closer. Ready? Let's get this over with. Get this over with. You see that? Someone's coming out of the cave. I'll keep watch. You deal with that when you can.
Go. Where are you from? Antisburg. What do we do with her? Take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Annisburg, right? Yes. They... 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 Um... It's okay, miss. The others, they... They killed them. You're safe now. Just... Try to breathe. They're animals? <laughs> I know. Some folks just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. <laughs> I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Yeah. Just head for the main street. It'll be easier to walk from there. Place is yours. Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Hey, Mom, man. Ma! Ma! Meredith! She's alive! Oh, she's alive! You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, man. Murphy brood guys. Oh my god. How did you manage well, to? I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Oh, that that's okay, ma'am. You just Keep her warm and keep her safe.
This is death? Oh no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone! Thanks, buddy. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. I took her home. Oh. You and Mike find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dutch, did you miss me? I found her drunk as Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. Funny, you Shit. Back Who and are you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God, Almighty. Calm down. I won't be ignored. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am in him. I ain't her. I ain't even stooges. Calm yourself. You don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry. Yeah, I told them, and I tell them again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who? What? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard. Go on, She's shoot crazy. me. She ain't worthy. <laughs> you told on oh, me. You're you not betrayed so big now, me. What? Just calm down. Arthur? <laughs> She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You. She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Right. Get back to work. Yeah. Woman, Miss Crenshaw, a nasty woman. You think I wanted to shoot her? You seem to like it. I saw that speedy look in your eyes. You're drunk again. And you're a fucking murderer. She broke the rules. She did no such thing. She was in love. You sour faced old crone. God damn you. Murderer. Murderer. Yep. You okay? She's in a bad way. She don't know what she's saying. This is hitting everyone hard, in different ways. I don't know. Well, try to keep your head straight. Well, I suppose. <laughs> 